And while the Indian diaspora is a group that Prime Minister Narendra Modi has repeatedly reached out to, since taking office, he has engaged with the Indian diaspora time and again. And now it seems every politician worth his or her salt wants to leverage their ties with Prime Minister Modi to woo the Indian diaspora. Indian American crowd chants Modi, Modi, as the Indian Prime Minister made his appearance at the Madison Square Garden in New York City. It was a hero's welcome. Some in the audience had traveled from neighboring Canada to catch a glimpse of Modi. About three dozen elected U.S. officials, including several senators, representatives and a governor, were present on the occasion. Modi's rally at the Rico Coliseum in Toronto, Canada in 2015 grabbed headlines too. Modi's address to the Indian diaspora in the Silicon Valley was a big draw. Interaction with persons of Indian origin in Israel made waves. Modi's soaring popularity did not escape the attention of world leaders. David Cameron was one of them. On a winter afternoon in London, thousands of British Indians poured into Wembley Stadium for a Modi. The crowds chanted, Modi, 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 and played Jai Ho from Slumdog Millionaire. Prompted David Cameron to say that the British Indian community was putting the great into Great Britain. British Indians putting the great into Great Britain. Cameron also said that a British Indian may soon be Prime Minister of the UK. It won't be long till there is a British Indian Prime Minister in Downing Street. Even Pakistan Prime Minister Imran Khan could not resist the temptation of doing a Modi-style rally. Khan addressed the Pakistani community in Washington, D.C., ahead of his White House meeting with U.S. President Donald Trump in July. But the event was more in the news for a group of Balochistan activists who disrupted Imran Khan's address by raising slogans seeking justice for the region. Such is the charisma of Modi that the world has begun to sit up and take notice of the Indian leader. The best compliment came from David Cameron, who told an Indian minister that accompanying Modi to the Wembley Stadium was one fundamental mistake he had made. Why? Because in Cameron's own words, when Modi began to speak, I felt like a stranger in my own country. Bureau report, we on World is One.